E, what's going on guys? Brilu here. And yes, the title is correct. I'm not clickbaiting. I did drop my first ever deatomizer strike in Infinite Warfare, which is basically a 25 gun streak with uh, a certain gun variant that has the nuke uh, perk on it. So it's basically like the Moab or the, uh, you know, like the nuke from other Call of Duties, which is very cool. So I, unfortunately, even though I tried pretty hard, I didn't get one in the, during the beta. Uh, unlike my friend Mark the Skipper who did. He got on a Frontier. Obviously I got this one on Frost, on Team Deathmatch of all places. So it's kind of cool that we both got our first ones on the like beta maps of this game. But I guess that makes sense since we've been playing, or I've been playing this quite a bit. And I know that he has too. He's like freaking 6th Prestige or something at this point. Probably not. I think he's like almost 4th Prestige. But uh... I don't know, like, I've never done this before in any other Call of Duty. Like, this is the first, what, two weeks that, of the game's release, and I've dropped, I've dropped actually two Deanimizer Strikes. Uh, there's this one and another one that I <laughs> will be showing to you guys soon. I don't really know how, I mean, I don't really have a topic for that video, but I sort of do somewhat have, have one for this one. But, yeah, it's pretty cool that I got it. So, I normally don't look up, like, tips and tricks videos. Especially like tips on how to get like, uh, you know, sort of like the, the nuclear, I guess, or the deatomizer strike video. But um, I came across a, a video that I'll leave a link down to it down below. It's from G Green Goblin HD, and it was because um, Mark, my friend Mark, who I played this game quite a bit with, uh, that's like his favorite, one of his favorite YouTubers, and he, he liked his video on it. And I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I decided to look it up. And... It is actually pretty good, and I used about 90% of the tips that uh, the guy mentioned in the video. So yeah, uh, like I said, I usually don't look up these things, but it actually somewhat helps. So I'm not going to like explain everything bit by bit, just because if you guys want to look at it, just go down and watch it yourself. Go down in the description, you know, click on the video and watch it yourself. But basically, so... I have a silenced MV4. Um, so now I didn't, I didn't use a silencer in Black Ops 3 because it, it like greatly fucked up your gun, and that was the thing with Black Ops 2 as well. A silencer like messed up your gun quite a bit in that game. But uh, in Infinity Ward games and other games, it, it actually seems it actually is really good. So I, I do usually use silencers in other Call of Duties like Advanced Warfare, uh, Infinite Warfare, MW3. So that that's really helps, and obviously it helps because you, know, you won't show up on the mini map as this huge glowing red dot. Like any any new, no matter what skill skill level they are, they you know they can see this huge red dot on the mini map behind them or or wherever. So that helps. And then uh, if you guys couldn't tell too, the only scroll streak that I have on the right is the UAV, and you might think that's kind of counterintuitive, but uh, to get the deatomizer strike, you only you can only get it with kills by your gun and it's only kills with this particular gun too so if you pick up if you pick up like another gun off the ground like a different variant and you get kills with it that that those kills do not count toward the uh i guess nuke kill streak so it won't count toward it so yeah that's why i have the uav only and i guess you i guess you could probably use uav counter uav and like uh advanced uav but advanced uav is not as good as it's not as good as a VSAT or Blackbird from the Black Ops 3 or Treyarch series. Just because it, it, it sweeps basically. Like, it's basically like a UAV, but it sweeps. Or, yeah. <laughs> it basically is a UAV. It sweeps, but it shows kind of like the general direction. It shows like the direction, like a triangle of where they're looking. But it's basically just like a UAV can tell you where they're going anyway. You don't really need that kind of extra triangle thing, so... It's kind of pointless, and you know UAV. You only need like four kills for it, so you can like cycle through many UAVs. Cause was it 25? You can basically cycle through what about five, almost six UAVs, and then they're pretty useful. And even if you have UAVs, make sure count how many people have in the lobby on the on the enemy team. Obviously, have like ghost on. Like how many people show up on the mini map? Cause then you can you can you can um obviously count if you can trust the, the your mini map because you know obviously if there's six people and only one red guy shows up then obviously you can't trust it too much and don't look at it too much 
But uh, yeah, and then my perks, ghosts also so I don't show up on the mini map. They almost died too, that scared the fuck out of me. Uh, and now I'm running scavenger here, and this is where I kind of deviated in a little bit. So I have scavenger and I think I have, was it marksman? I'm not sure if marksman helps you with uh, flinch. Like a lot, a lot. I'm not sure if it helps you out quite a bit, but I just feel like if it helps you out a little bit, it should. But he said put on um the one what thing is it the rig so my rig is merc rig as well and he wanted so I have reactive armor which is which was what the guy suggested as well but he suggested put on mana arms as well and it, it's a pretty good shout I don't have it on in here now here I was freaking out because I was two kills away I believe um where was it. Yeah, right here. So, I get this kill. I saw the red dot behind me. I'm like, oh shit! And I almost died. Almost died right there. That scared the hell out of me, but I got it. So, it's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, he suggested mana arms, which is a good shout because scavenger doesn't sometimes always work in here. So, sometimes you'll get the kill. And then sometimes they don't drop, or sometimes like the little hitbox to where you run over to grab the. Uh, scav pack it doesn't just does it doesn't register so it's good to have both of them but I really I have infusion in this gameplay because I, I really like it because it basically it, it you regen health uh, quicker which I really like it's really good so you can basically like you know you, you get hurt and then you dip back behind uh, you know behind cover then you get around cover even you know you can basically just challenge people a lot quicker than you normally would so that's you know really that's uh, that's just really good for me just because like there my health regen like really quick the other time like if you don't have that it doesn't regen as as quick so yeah um i don't know and then so yeah obviously i, I called it in this is part kind of pissed me off though so i called it in i'm like yes i got it let's fucking go my first freaking new my first freaking damage strike and then the lobby like fucking crashes right here. Like what the hell? It just literally just shut down, and it puts us puts me out into the main menu of the thing. And I'm like, what the hell? And so it still counts because I didn't die, but it didn't give me the calling card for it. So thank God I got my second deatomizer strike literally like a day after uh, this deatomizer strike. <laughs> Like, cause it didn't give me the calling card for me, which which is fucking bullshit. But I also I also tried to find noobs, um, which is pretty hard. Like domination, there's a lot of a lot more tryhards. So like, I figured team deathmatch is a pretty good shout. But the only thing with team deathmatch is that the games end kind of quick, even though it is up to like a hundred kills now. But yeah, so that was my first DM as a strike. Hopefully that uh, helps you guys out a little bit. It helped me out a little bit. I don't know the the UAV. And like scav pack, because I wasn't really using scavenger, it definitely helps. Just cause uh, you have to you have to get all twenty five kills with that one gun. So you're definitely gonna run out of ammo and you don't want Especially when you when you wanna go for like one of these like diameter strikes, you don't want to add on another problem on top of all the other, you know, problems that you have. The enemies have to be somewhat bad at the game. Your teammates have to like not end the game too too fast. Your teammates have to not steal all your kills. Uh, it spawns to be like you know you have to hope that, that people don't spawn like behind you or or like to the side of you. And yeah, you you just don't want to add like the ammo capacity problem of running out of ammo. So yeah, so that kind of helps. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment if you guys are new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.